Hey guys, Tobaloko here, we're back with another World Cup 2010 gameplay, I know, I know, but it's Friday, it's Friday, you know, I'm feeling the Friday vibes, and I figured I just can't be bothered to do an actual series on the Euro one, so I thought, if I'm going to do a video, I may as well just do a random World Cup, right? I really enjoyed yesterday's episode with Malaysia, so let's go, we're going to randomise it, people keep saying to me, please randomise it, Yes, but in the last couple of episodes, there have been suggestions that I've got high volume of likes um, on, the, on the comments, so it's like, well, you may as well do those. Okay, let's go. We're going to press the X button and see who we get. I don't care who we get. We're just going to do it. Ooh, Zimbabwe. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. You know, a lot of people have been saying Cyprus and uh, Iceland and... Uh, what was it, Vietnam as well, but it's like, yeah, yeah, I'll do those, you know, when the time's right. Um, I think a Cyprus will be a good Euro gameplay, maybe on the 2008 game, or, um, PES 2020, maybe. I don't know, we'll see, I need to look into it more. A lot of people have been saying Ireland as well, so, yeah, you know, we'll, 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 we'll keep doing it. Oh, France got drawn into a group of Ireland on 2010 as well? Car. You imagine the controversy after what Thierry Henry did with them, and now they're like in the same group. That's going to be a crazy group. Hopefully I land in that group. I hope, in a way. Okay, so I'm going to be in pot four. Uganda going to be C, Colombia, Turkey in group D, Sweden in group E, Bosnia, Poland in group H, G even, and Lithuania in group H. Okay, where am I going to go? Oman going A. Tanzania going B, Vietnam going C, oh I knew it, I knew it, I knew I'd be in D because Turkey are in that group as well, how many times do I have to face Turkey on this game? We all know, watching this channel, how awkward Turkey can be playing, but we will, we will try, we will try. And the Zimbabwe fans are out in full force, they should be, they're very close to South Africa of course, I'm looking forward to this one. I don't know any Zimbabwean players. I don't know any. Uh, hopefully they're good. I don't think any... I don't... Oh, no, there was that... Wasn't there a goalkeeper that used to play for Liverpool that um, played for Zimbabwe? Bruce Grobelar, I think? Was that... Am I right in saying that? I'm actually going to put a vote um, in the comments. I'm going to put a vote. Uh, I'll put it on the video, actually, maybe. I'll put, like... I don't know. Like three nations to do with Euro playthrough and the highest voted one wins. Oh, that was a hell of a ball. What a... Turkey? No, you don't get to do that. Oh, that was lucky. That was so lucky. And Malu Wawawi threw on goal and he hits the post. That is just so typical of this game. You can tell this is definitely a Friday video because there's no actual effort into it whatsoever. I'm just like, yeah, I'll play the World Cup game again. <laughs> Ning Wenwa. Is that how you say his name? And again, like the goalkeeper says it, like, ugh. That's two shots we've had, two clear-cut opportunities against Turkey, and yet, we haven't found the net. Okay, so, literally, apart from the last two shots I had, the, the, the first half has been very drab, very drab indeed, and the Zimbabwe fans know it as well. They expect better from their team. Okay, that's got to be a red, right? He is last man. Oh, ref, that is, that's just disgraceful, overlooking that. Overlooking that. And you're like, yeah, no red card, no nothing. It's like, cool. I honestly thought that was offside. All the players had their hands up in the air. But, Mugashio, how on earth do you even say that name? How on earth do you even say that name? Mush... Hang Gazaik, Mushgang Azaik or whatever, scores against Turkey and that's 1 0. Look at this, look, it looked, oh, it wasn't offside because the right back kept them on, but they all had their hands up, like, you know, <laughs> three of them at least. Just got to keep Turkey at bay now, and um, that's easier said than done. Turkey have been a nightmare for me in, like, recent uh, playthroughs. They're just really difficult to play against, and I got France and Ireland in the next one. Again, two other teams that aren't crap. Like, France cheated against me in the last playthrough, you can see that if you want to. Um, but literally, I don't think I played Ireland either. 
<laughs> what was that? The goalkeeper had to palm that very easy shot out. Oh, Zimbabwe. Cool. There's that man again, that Mushkashuari. I can't even say these names. I'm, I'm so uneducated right now. Where are he? If he cuts down a little bit, he might actually be through. No, he's going to go. Oh, he had the chance. They had the chance, a prime opportunity, but over the bar it goes. Come on, ref, blow the whistle. Yes, there it is. Zimbabwe squeezed by Turkey. That's one goal to nil. Cool. What a... Not, not an exciting match, but a very, very good win nonetheless for Zimbabwe. Very good. You know, they got three points on the board. They're not actually too... too um, they're not too excited about it. We're against France next, so it's a good opportunity to get revenge from the last playthrough. Zimbabwe versus France, and then we got Ireland in the next game. It would be nice to pick up three points in this, but I don't think I will realistically. Um, yeah, we'll see anyway. France versus Zimbabwe. France playing extremely well at the moment, passing the ball around quite nicely. I don't want to say I'm going to get thrashing, but I mean... France are pretty decent to be found in this game. I have a feeling this could be a thrashing for me, or it could be a really boring draw, and I'm hoping it's not a boring draw, because otherwise I've got nothing to put out. Alright, this guy seems like a little bit of a beast, this guy. Look at him, he's holding him off. And even when he gets tackled, he almost still gets that little bit of like bullshit factor about him, where, you know, he, he still has the ball. Basically what every player has ever on FIFA 20. Nothing's happened in this first half. Like, I would have expected France to come crashing out the gate strong, but they just haven't, and it's nil-nil. Very, very um, tough game for both teams. Dominic is not impressed. Zimbabwe are embarrassing France right now. They've only been one shot. One shot all game. Wow, how boring can you get? France are playing really dirty. I think France, like... They played, like, last, yesterday they played dirty against me. They just waited to foul my player, and if they do it again today, then if I see France in future World Cups, I'm taking them out. This game's kind of draining the life out of me at the moment. Like, France are playing really defensive, and it's kind of, like, kind of hurting my head a little bit, you know? I think I'm, I think I'm blacking out <laughs> to the, board, the boringness of France's play. But what is this game? What is this match? Like... What are they trying to do? What are France actually trying to do here? I know they're trying to score, like, obviously, but, like, why are they just constantly crossing it in? Is there, like, an aerial threat, like, of France I don't know about? They got, like, fucking Chukuf up front. Oh my god, that defender went for me. That defender absolutely went for me. Will there be late drama in this game, or will there just be a nil-nil draw on the cards? Fans watching this at home, all across the world, have fallen asleep because of France's boring play and Zimbabwe not even getting forward either. Like, seriously, they haven't done well at all, both of these sides. They have been dreadful in this match. Go on, make that run. Yes, here we go. Mushkazkizi. He was a hero in the last match, but he's running out of stamina. He's got a little bit of extra space. Palm that. Oh, my God, man. Oh, my God. And there it goes, that is a boring, a boring, boring nil-nil draw. The world is stunned into basically sleep. <laughs> it's just Zimbabwe happy. I'm happy with the draw because it's a point, but in terms of the video, oh my god, like, how boring can you get with that draw? Okay, T Ireland have got zero, so they can't get through. It's impossible, it's Turkey. That so I'm in a really good position here, I think, anyway. I could go out thanks to another team. That I don't even play. It's like, great. Even though I beat Turkey and everything, still can go out. No, what are you doing? I angled it and everything. And promising uh, start to the game. France are already 1 0 up against Turkey. That's, that's great. That cements everything. Oh my god, that was a good save by the Irish keeper given. Oh. I mean, I defensive error. This guy at the fr up, fr up front looks like a bit of a powerhouse to me. Look, a bit of a powerhouse. And it's half time, and another sort of drab game. Wow, uh, Ireland are really defending, really, really. They were defending well, but 
do they really need to? Do they really need to? Hopefully. Mishkan's Rari. Oh, he hit the bar! Bloody hell! Oh my god! I couldn't even turn properly. Now, Turkey have equalised against France. This could be a big problem for us. This could be a big problem. If the game stays like it is and Turkey get more goals, then they could dump me out on goal difference, which is bullshit. No! Don't you dare! Ah, oh, France, thank god. Thank god you you immediately took to the lead, like literally 10 seconds after Turkey. And is that it? Yes, it is. Wow. What a fucking drab game that was. I mean, it got exciting towards the end, but I think Zimbabwe are through. They're celebrating like they're through. So, good accomplishment there by the team. But, oh my god, like, honestly, guys, like, the midfield battles that have been going on the last two games, uh, Zimbabwe need to improve if we're going to get past around the 16. Oh of course, god. man. Of course. I love that. No. <laughs> Fuck off! Oh my god! No, they haven't. Right, hang on, hang on. No, I'm not having that. What the hell, goalkeeper? What was that? That mistake could have could cost us. In this replay that we got here, god damn! What are we doing? I hope to God that. <laughs> If we're redoing this match, that we get through somehow. I'm not redoing it just to get knocked out again. Okay, France and Turkey are basically... That game's over, right? Surely. Oh my god, they almost scored against me again. There we go, have that! Have that, Ireland! Have that! Blow kisses to the crowd, Benjani. That's not the Benjani you're thinking of, by the way. I don't think it is, anyway. Are loving it. Will we get knocked out by the glitch? Please, don't you dare. Don't you bloody dare do it. We've got a, got a draw against Ireland. We, we knocked them out again. <laughs> right, let's go back to the menu screen and see if it actually lets me back in. Hey, nice. Nice. I got, I got away with it. Nice. Our run continues, boys. Our run continues. We beat the glitch. We beat the glitch. Okay, so let's have a look at Group A quickly. Italy and Oman go through in that one. Uh, Chile and Switzerland go through in Group B. Bulgaria and England in Group C. France and Zimbabwe in Group D. Qatar and Cameroon in Group E. Spain and Bosnia in Group F. G, Brazil and Serbia. Holland and Georgia in the last one. But obviously the glitch is happening um, so some nations won't go through. So I'm against Bulgaria for the next match. Nice. We beat the glitch, guys. We did the impossible. We beat the glitch. I'm very happy about that. But will we beat Bulgaria? I feel like my kit blends in kind of with the scenery a little bit. It blends in. Maybe that will work to my advantage here. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was so close. Bulgaria almost conceding in the first few minutes of the game. Will he still be beast? Yes, he will. That's 1-0 to Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe are shocking Bulgaria at the moment in the first few minutes of the game. They have scored. Eight, eight minutes in, but Zimbabwe won. Bulgaria nil. This guy is up for it, man. Look at him. Look at him. He's such a fucking beast. Look at him. Look, he just can't be tackled. He just can't be tackled. He is an absolute king. Look at him. He's all over the place. He's just like, he just injured someone. He does not give one, does he? He does not give one. No, you can't stop him. Oh, that's so good. That oh. we're, we're warming up now. I think we're warming up a little bit now. This guy... The, the forward is um, being very, very um, dominant in front of goal at the moment. Whips it in. Is Berbatov going to head that? Oh, get out. Oh, my God. It wasn't Berbatov anyway that made the head, but he scored. Dimitar Berbatov off of a, a, a really bad error. And Bulgaria are back level. All right, that's got to be a red, surely. You just took me out from behind. Only a yellow. Very competitive first half. I don't know why Zimbabwe is sad. 
I guess they just want to go through, to be honest. So, oh, the turning is like the Titanic. Oh my, that is just unreal, that is. That is just unreal. How many times do I have to hit that part of the post? I've done it like three times this gameplay. Go on, I'll muscle him, yeah. Yes, there we go. He's done it. He has done it. This guy has done it. He's such a beast. Look at him. Look at his body type. He's massive. Absolutely massive. He is such a beast. Now I'm just going to throw a bullet to him. And he's just going to go past him. This guy is an actual cheat code. Buy him on your career mode. But then the shooting is not a cheat code. It's really not. It's really not. Bulgaria can't believe it. They could be going home again. Look. He just, he just, they just keep abusing him. He's just like, yeah, I'm beast. Get out. Yeah, see? He's just too good. He's just too good. He knows it as well. He knows it. Wave to the Zimbabwe fans. It's 3-1. They're loving it. Boratov can't believe it. <laughs> Look at the Bulgarians. They just can't believe the embarrassment. Zimbabwe advance in the next round thanks to their star striker. This is good. This is really good. This is how far Malaysia got. And Malaysia had a really good striker as well. Who gets next then? Italy. Nice. Okay. This potentially could be where it comes to an end. He has Benjani on the back of his shirt. That that can't be the Benjani that plays for Portsmouth. Played for Portsmouth, right? Back in two thousand and eight. Surely not. Depends what kind of mood Italy are in. It depends what kind of mood Italy want to be in against me. If they want to be in like sort of like a dominant mood, then you know that's fine. But I hope not. Oh, that was a really good tackle. That's what they have to do to stop me. Yes, yes, we're through. And he's he's literally just like beating everybody. His finishing, his finishing is just leads something to be desired. He's big, he's powerful, but he has the finishing of like Bentner. Oh my god, Italy, please don't do this to me. No, 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 oh, fuck off. Like, just one, two, bang, and uh, Del Perro scores. God damn it. Oh, shit. Get out. No, why does it go straight back to him? Ref, like, where's the foul? Oh, you just call half time, like, nothing happened. Another classic example of the referees favouring against me. Oh, kind of annoying. Like, that shot was just literally, it happened so fast, I couldn't even stop it. Ref. How are you only just giving them a telling off for that? He literally just flattened me. So watch this, I'll try and get past this defender, and he just literally takes me out, because he knows what he's doing. Yellow card only. Oh, I ran into trouble. Like, Italy are just fouling constantly. It's just not fair. They're just being dirty. They're just being super dirty. Ref, yes, that's a penalty. Yes, come on. I went for the shot, and they took me out in the box. That's what you get, Italy, for fouling me constantly. That is what you get. Well, oh, red card for Cellini. Wow, this could change the game big time. I just need to score this pen. If Buffon saves it, I'm not going to be a happy bunny. I'm not going to be a happy bunny. Oh, yes. Yes. The man himself equalises in the 86th minute. And Buffon is not loving it. Why has it got the same player, like, down beside him, just like, you <laughs> like, oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I had to take that penalty. <laughs> referee, referee. Why are Italy playing like this? Oh, fine. Whatever, then. He's going. He's running. He's running. He's running. Do I sweat? No, you don't. You just do that. Oh, my... No! No! This striker! Oh, hit and miss! Hit and miss! Look, he's through, he's through again. Oh, Buffon! Buffon! Why do you have to be so good? Oh my god. This is just stupid. This is just fucking dumb. Perlo? Oh, he missed his penalty. Nice. Right. Let's go. It's my turn now. Oh, just over Buffon. 
just over him. It's fine. That's 1-0 to me. Will Italy bottle this? Oh, down the middle, really? You cheeky bastard. Okay, nice. We, we're getting into a little bit of a rhythm with our penalties now. Yes, saved it. What a legend. Okay. It's in. Right, now they need to score this. They need to score. Italy need to score this or they're out. And we go to the semi-finals, which will be the highest finish with a one-star team I've ever had um, playing on this difficulty. Rossi. Are you Penenka, little prick? Oh, my God. I, <laughs> there's always one Italian that does that, right? In every single World Cup. Oh, that's not a good penalty, is it? Oh, okay, fine. Oh, I think we won. Yes, we did. Nice. We eliminated Italy. We eliminated them. <sighs> that was such a tight match. Yeah, Brazil. Nice. Zimbabwe versus Brazil. <laughs> Look at him. He's just causing havoc in that Brazil defence. What's going on? Oh, he was too rough, was he, ref? Come on. Mushkatsukaski or whatever. Oh, that was a hell of a tackle. That was a hell of a tackle. Wow. What happens? And that's a good ball. Nyan Doro. Will he make that will he make that Brazil pay? Yes, he will. He will. That's 1-0 to Zimbabwe. 1-0. Ooh. I'm loving this. I'm loving it. Julia says I was not loving it. A little bit lucky it just hit him underneath. We could be going to the final under this goal. 1-0 to Zimbabwe. I have a really good feeling about this team. A really good feeling. Like, they just seem beast. And, <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, a little bit strong. They're fast as well. If we win it on this difficulty, we have to go up a difficulty. We have to do legendary. We have to do legendary. <laughs> legendary, could you imagine? I just get stomped every time I play the game. I think that's half time. And it's 1-0 to Zimbabwe, a very shocking result at the moment. Zimbabwe could be heading for their first FIFA World Cup final. Oh crap, I did not mean to do that. Okay, thank god. Oh my god, that is a ridiculous ball. How did he get past that Brazil defence? Hey, there we go, that's 2-0. 2-0 to Zimbabwe. Wow, I mean, I can't even, I I just don't understand how he got through there. I really don't understand how he got through. There was two defenders right there, and we're 2-0 up against Brazil in the 60th minute. Brazil have been very lacklustre in this one. I've been quite disappointed, to be honest. Look at this guy, look, he's just such a beast. He's such a tank. Oh, but again, like, like I said, the shooting plagues him a little bit. Because they haven't done anything in this match. They really haven't. They haven't even, like, m really made an attempt on goal. It's been very lacklustre, very poor performance by Brazil. Yeah, as much as I kick that. Yes, we're on to the final, boys. We're on to the final with Zimbabwe. Unbelievable how, literally, most of my playthroughs, I couldn't even get past the group stage. Now we're here with Zimbabwe in the final. Can we do it? Or will it be heartbreak in the final? Please don't give me heartbreak in the final. Okay, so it's England. I just saw it on the news. It's England versus Zimbabwe in the final. What a final, huh? Look at the form of my striker. He's he's my. That's got to be Ben Jani. That has to. That has to be Ben Jani from Portsmouth. It has to be. It's Zimbabwe versus England in the final. Has a shot or oh, Green's got that. Oh, I would have released him. Released the beast. That is Ben Jani. Yes. Go on. Yes, go on. Yeah, look. Look at him. He's, he's like, I'm a beast. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. Apart from the goalkeeper stopping that shot. Oh my god, no. No. Oh, thank god. Emil Heskey almost scored against me. Imagine if Heskey scored against me and he won the World Cup because of it. Yeah, it's half time. It's nil nil. Quite a cagey final, to be fair. Ben Johnny's had a few chances. England have had a few chances as well. But it remains nil nil. The Zimbabwe pose on goal. It's incredible. Oh! I don't know how confident I'll be if I had to go against uh, England in penalties. I mean, this is the England that 
were dreadful at penalties before we got a fluky win against Colombia. I'm going to try and get someone in the box. I see him, but that's a header. Oh, Huddleston almost scored the winning goal for England. Yeah, we are going to extra time. So annoying. Why is it getting dragged out this much? Oh, Green with the save. Oh, my God. That was so close. No way. That was a hell of a ball. Oh, Gerard with the trademark strike, but the goalkeeper saves it. No, that's a bit too long. Oh, ref, ref, referee, come on. Yes, off you go. Who was that? That's so dirty. They just can't stop him. Oh, I think that was Jaggy Elka. Yeah, it was Jaggy Elka. Wow. They have to play without him. Oh, my God. Zimbabwe. That was so close. There was no one there in the middle. I was like, yeah, I'll have a shot. It looked like he was going top corner. Rob Green with the insane save. You better run. Don't you dare miss this. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, my God, Benjani. What are you doing? Penalties in the final, then. England have been very boring, to be honest. No, he missed the penalty. You little fucker. You little fucker. I think England might catch this one, you know. I went that way! You fucking... Oh, of course the game would do this. Of course it would. Yes, we scored. Nice. Are you fucking... What the fuck is going on here, man? Yes. Nice. I went that way! Fucking hell! How many times, England? Yes. We have to save this next one, otherwise it's over. We have to, right? It's Carrick. How good is he at pens? Oh, he's got it on the green. No, no, I have to score. I have to score, otherwise it's over. I have to score, and it's um, not... Oh, no. Yes, Rob Green almost had that, but we need to, we need to save this next one. Otherwise it's over. And who is it? It's Ashley Cole. Ashley Cole could win the World Cup for England. Damn it. Damn it, man. Oh! Yes! Come on! Yes, we're level, right. Yes! Come on! Who's next? It's Huddleston, right. Okay, who do you play for back then? T Tottenham or Hull City? I can't remember. Doesn't really matter, does it? Oh! Uh, stop doing the stuttering! Stop doing the fucking stuttering! Yes. Come on. Oh, it's Heskey. It's Heskey. How very fitting. Will he miss or will he score? I went that way, you fucking dumb game. Is my goalkeeper not in there? Oh, no. That's bad. Oh, no, it's not. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Rio Ferdinand. I love him to miss this. Man United player. You know, missing this. Oh, oh you lucky son of a bitch. Okay, I think I fucked that up. No, he didn't. Nice. <laughs> Come on. Zimbabwe. This is so tense. This is so tense. What's that guy got on his head? What has that guy got on his head? Right, it's John Terry. John Terry's missed a penalty before in that 2008 Champions League final. Will he do it again? No, he won't. Damn it. Come on. Yes. <sighs> right, who's next on England's team? Surely it's the goalkeeper. It's Rob Green. Yeah, it's Rob Green. He's got the smallest green bar in the history of green bars. I went that way! I went that way! You clearly saw that on the screen. That's my goalkeeper. Yes. Come on. It's Gareth Barry. He's got the biggest green bar ever. What the hell? No. Stop doing that, England. Yes. This, 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 this final, man. This final. It might have to be a two-part of this. It might actually have to be a two-parter. Rooney. You prick, Rooney. Stop doing that stutter. Stop doing that fucking stutter, you little bellend. No. 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 
No. No. No. No, please don't. Yes, he hit the post. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yes. For some reason, Rob Green didn't get that. It was right at him. It was right at him. England fans are not loving this at the moment. Like a Carrick. Over the bar! Over the bar! We won it! Yes! We won! Oh, yes! That penalty shootout was mad. And we won it on this difficulty. Zimbabwe have won the World Cup. <laughs> That's mental. I can't believe I did it on this difficulty. And that penalty shootout was wild. I thought, I thought honestly, guys, I thought I lost that when, I, when, when the goalkeeper just saved it. Oh my god, drink this in Zimbabwe, drink it in. Benjani was literally like the catalyst to this. He was literally the whole reason why we won this. He was, okay, he had his bad moments in front of goal, but he had his extremely good dominant moments in front of defenders. He just, just like the best, one of the best strikers I've used on this game, hands down, has to be. He is so good. This is going to be like called the story of Benjani, I think. Penjani winning the World Cup. What a legend. Yeah, 12-11 on pens. Wow, that's crazy. That's absolutely mad. There you go then. 11-12 on penalties. 0-0 draw. 11-12 on penalties. Winner, Zimbabwe. And that has been your World Cup playthrough with Zimbabwe. A random country that the game picked for me and it went so well. So well. Uh, if you did like this video, then give it a like and subscribe if you're new here. That would be really cool if you did. Keep it loco, and I'll see you again for the next video.